Yo, sorry, I was just uh, listening to some bangers. Um, <laughs> yeah, fuck it, we'll keep it. But anyways, you guys are here for a tutorial on how to create super smooth animations inside of Premiere Pro. Honestly, the technique that I'm gonna be showing you, I did not even know existed for a good portion of my editing career. Like I literally always did my keyframing inside of After Effects because I did not know this existed inside of Premiere Pro. And the technique that I'm talking about is like, making auto beziers or sort of like the keyframe velocity i honestly have no clue what the technical term is for that but i'll be showing you how to make things a lot smoother rather than just like a linear sort of steady change in value over time but before we get started in this tutorial i want you guys to know my name is chris Bustad and i run the takeover shop where i sell editing assets and packs for content creators so let's go ahead and get started inside of premiere pro right now so as you guys can see we have a video clip open honestly this is just like a story post that i posted like quite a while ago let's go ahead and add like some like cool icon animation so i'm gonna go ahead and just import like an icon let's just do premiere pro just for tutorial's sake so I'm gonna go ahead and import, go ahead and slide in our icon. So let's go ahead and make the scale what we want. And then honestly for this one, let's go ahead and just have it like, like slide in from the bottom really smoothly and then slide back down really, really smoothly. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first step to making smooth like movement animations is by adding a transform tool. So you type in transform in the effects tab, drag it onto the thing. Um, and the way that I do it is for each movement, I add a new transform layer. So for this one, this is gonna be our moving up layer. So I'm actually gonna just go ahead and just select it. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the position keyframe going. So the way you make keyframes, which by the way, I'm not a technical like sort of teacher. I kind of just teach like based off my experience. So if I'm moving a little too fast, just kind of slow it down in the video just see what I'm really doing. So because we're only gonna want it to move in and like down, we're only gonna be affecting the position, specifically the Y value. So let's go ahead and add a keyframe exactly where we want it to sort of like be center in screen, which right here seems like a decent time. And then we'll go back to the beginning and we'll kind of just drag it down because we want it to like sort of reveal from the bottom and move up. So over time, it's gonna start from the bottom and it's gonna move up. As you guys can see, but it just looks super jittery and like just not smooth at all. So let's go ahead and select both of these keyframes. I'm just gonna go ahead and move it back. Okay, cool. So that like looks like it's sliding in, but it looks horrible, right? So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is uncheck the use compositions shutter. And then we're gonna change the shutter angle. Like honestly, I just crank it to like whatever value, like above like 200. And like, you can kind of see it just like right there automatically looks a lot better. Like it just doesn't look all weird and jittery, but it still looks like very linear and just like not appealing to the eyeball. So what you want to go ahead and do is you want to select both of these keyframes, right click, and then go to temporal interpolation and then go to bezier. And when you have a bezier, it almost acts as like an easy ease. Um, but how you edit these is you go to this little check mark right here and you kind of just zoom in and then go ahead and select your first keyframe. I kind of want it to be like a little faster right off the rip. So just grab sort of this side and then just move it over and kind of see what that effect's doing. Okay, so it's not doing too, too much. Let's go ahead and just create like a little ramp in the middle almost. You can kind of see a little ramp going on. Okay, so it's still really not too, too crazy. Let's create something like that. There you go. So it kind of like shoots a little bit. Maybe that's not exactly what I'm going for. Maybe just like more of like a subtle ramp like this. There we go. That actually looks way better. Yeah. So something like you honestly really just have to play around with the shapes. Like I've been editing for a while. Sometimes you just have to play with the shapes. And that looks really, really good. That looks really smooth, way smoother than what it was before. Before we continue on with this tutorial, I just wanna let you guys know that the Viral Hooks editing pack is out now. If you've ever struggled with short form content, chances are it's because of the hook. And I get it. I've literally edited close to 500 plus short form pieces of content. And only now have I decided to just automate that entire process. So what's in the pack? You get 10 hooks already made for you. So literally all you have to do is just drag and drop the template, replace the text, replace the icon, and you're good to go. It comes to six plus textiles, which are pretty much just popular textiles that a lot of the bigger guys use. So if you wanna save time editing and save yourself the time of content ideating for a hook, 
this is the pack for you. It genuinely saves me so, so much time. I genuinely used to spend 25 minutes, but now it's a three minute process to create hooks, meaning I can create more content in less time. And for you as an editor, that means you can create more content, less time, which means you can make more money. So go ahead, check it out. Link will be down in the description below. So we got the first movement down. Let's go ahead and add the second movement, which is just moving it down below. And we're gonna start with the keyframe lined up with where it is over here. You don't have to do that, but I just want to. And then go about the same distance between these two keyframes, just kind of eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then like kind of just drag it down um, on the Y value. And then you'll have it go like that and it'll move down. Again, it looks horrible, like that looks terrible. So let's go ahead and just move this a little bit. Cool. Now do the same exact process, right click, temporal interpolation. You can add an audio bezier, continuous, hold, ease in, ease out, etc. I just go bezier and I just play with the, uh, the settings. So let's go ahead and move this one forward. See how this looks. Okay, that looks horrible. We also forgot to add the composition shutter. So just increase that to whatever. Okay, that looks terrible. See how this looks? Looks bad. Okay, let's move this all the way to the front. Maybe do nope still not looking good getting somewhere maybe we got to do it like this yeah no <laughs> okay that looks a little bit better we're getting somewhere now maybe make this a little bit sharper Okay, killer. That actually looks a lot better. So we actually have our animation. Like I said, you just got to play with it a little bit. And then honestly, that's pretty much it for making smooth animations. You guys can then go ahead and right click, like save this preset as like a like slide in up. Just really save time by creating your own presets. But if you guys actually don't want to go ahead and create a whole library of presets for yourself, I've actually done all of the work for you. So that way you have your slide in ups, like right, left, down, with a ton of other effects tailored for short form content editors. Now I've been editing short form content for a while and it's hands down saved me tons and tons of time editing. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and copy it, it is linked down below. But real quick, let's go ahead and show you one more tip to making your animations a lot more smoother. Okay guys, so this is literally going to be a quick in and out sort of thing. Um, if you guys go to my takeover preset pack or honestly you guys can find any shake like anywhere else adding shakes to your icons makes the uh, whole animation just look way way more smooth so first i'm going to go ahead and actually nest this clip real quick and then i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the shake so the shake honestly just like makes like everything a lot more smooth kind of just makes it feel more natural like it's actually like floating in a way so just a cool little tip, but that is the tutorial for today. I hope you guys learned how to like actually make your animations look a little bit more smooth. So that way, when you actually do get new clients, new work, you can actually make better work. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.